Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of September 18, 2024, a Wednesday. First of all, 2 p.m. FOMC, and we expect a catalyst of extraordinary potential here to the upside, of course, but just be mindful of the expected volatility that will emerge in the minutes, 10, 15 minutes after the FOMC news release at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Other than that, these markets are poised to go to the upside structurally. And also just one look at the market scanner pro shows the abundance of long setups here from various markets here in NASA classes. So we're expecting a dollar weakening that explains the long setups in many major pairs, currencies. And then we expect a further appreciation of gold and silver in dollar terms, and that could be caused by, probably, by the relative weakening of the dollar, since these metals are priced in U.S. dollars. And then ZB Treasuries, interestingly, there are long setups here, and perhaps this is a forward-looking long setup. The stampede that we see now on the indexes, the ES and the others, of course, they're as bullish as can be, but nothing will last forever. So how and when this stampede to the upside on the indexes will end, we do not know. But when it ends, eventually, that's when probably money will start to be channeled into treasuries, safe havens, and perhaps more precious metals. And that could explain the long setups here on the weekly chart on treasuries. So... Keep an eye on these, how these markets interact potentially. And also agriculturals, there's uh, some setups there. But let's go back to the indexes and let's do them one by one as we usually do. All right, so not much to say. This is a long setup. We're attacking the highs and technically we have reached the 5650-ish level, but we haven't hit the 5700. Now, this could not be, of course, be precise by the tick or something. It's just a general area. But I think most likely we will break, at least attempt to break to the upside. But most likely that attempt will be successful. Exciting times, definitely. Let's see what happens. NQ is next. All right. A volatility compression about to break out to the upside. Classic, classic stuff. And there's a bullish setup here on the four-hour chart. Perhaps you're long already. I think you're in a good trade. Just give it a very wide stop. You don't want to get hit for nothing after the FOMC tomorrow. And also the next one, YM, which was a bull flag yesterday. And it has triggered since and hit 1R. Beautiful stuff. Okay. And RTY was a volatility compression breaking out right now, similar a bit to the NQ. Very, very good opportunities here, various ways to benefit or profit from these events. Let's continue with currencies on which there, there's almost countless ways to make money, but it's the same way because there's all the same trade against the USD. So here's the 6E. You could be long. If not, then this is just another bull flag. So this is how it is. And the daily, which I think perhaps is safer to be on, is also nicely set up, or perhaps you're along already. And then we have whichever I'm looking at, 6A, 6B, they're all set up for the upside, various stages of development. Here is the daily bull flag on the 6A already triggered. The four hour, we have the signal. Let's look at the 6N, which is very correlated. New Zealand dollar, very similar setup. Hasn't triggered yet on the daily. So this looks good on the daily time frame. We have the bullish structure on the 4-hour. And then, then we had the British pound. Here we go. Hit 1R yesterday. Further longs are expected on the daily. Beautiful. Precious metals. The stampede continues. Gold is at 2600, as everybody knows now. And another bull flag here. And let's see, SI. We said 33. Well, it's around 32 now, 32, almost 32. So 33 is what we expect here to be tested, this area. Again, 
not really scientific, but roughly this area here around 33. And if everything goes well, we're not going to stop there. And um, look at the weekly time frame, which is just a beautiful bull flag triggering now. Okay, and then let's move on to the above-mentioned treasuries on which we have bullish setups. But I would think that this will be slow to play out. I don't think we should rush into trades, long trades on the treasuries, but we should keep an eye on this. And perhaps when the moves fade on the indexes, we can start moving towards treasuries. And agriculturals, last but not least, let's start with wheat, which hit 1R two days ago. And now I think the daily potential measured move is still a valid idea here, trade idea on the daily chart. Soya beans long in progress here we go broke out and the potential measured move is what we're eyeing here on the daily chart and then we had one more corn on which here we go this is a classic setup for us pressure into resistance and it has triggered look at yesterday's chart please because we had three candles three four candles missing so this is how we identify a setup and now a trade in progress before it happens. It's classic stuff. If you're new on premium, go back and uh, put this in your book. This is pressure into resistance, a bull flag against a previous resistance level. Wonderful. And the daily, if you don't want to worry about it, the daily is just a potential measured move, which looks like this, as we know. Here we go. And the daily setup is triggering now. So lots of things to do. Let's pay attention and please be mindful tomorrow. It will not be easy, but I think after the dust settles, we'll be higher up. So these are the opportunities in front of us. We'll be back in the morning and until then, mindful trading.